Hello everybody. So, I have been collecting obsidian and I am ready to go into the nether. I have brought with me lots of arrows, a bow, and pretty much all my valuable possessions. Oh my god, gassed already. I'll kill you. Seriously, the moment I get into the nether, aghast, that destroys my portal. What a son of a... Okay, so let's hope that doesn't happen when we're on a tar pillar made of nether rock. Because then we will fall into the abyss. Okay, so I really don't like the nether and I forgot to mark the coordinates of my portal. So I will go to the, my portal and mark the exact coordinates. Let's see. F3, X equals 1, Y equals 89, and Z 66. So that's not too hard to remember. Not to mention, write down and look at, so. Eat some more food. Don't worry, I brought lots of food. I brought 12 pork with me too. Just in case. Now, why do you mind the nether? I'm here to look for a blaze fortress. Why do I need a blaze fortress? Because, well not a blaze fortress, but another fortress. Because I need blaze rods. I need to grab like, let's say 10. So I can make some ender pearls. Or eye of enders. And I can make some potions. But Potions aren't the important part. It's the Eye of the Enders, which require one blaze powder to make. But you are you can make two blaze powder for one blaze rod, so that's why I need about 10, because it takes 12 norm, up to 12, to open the Ender portal. Plus you need them to find it. Well, this is my big problem in the Nether, is I can't ever seem to easily find one of those fortresses. I just can't. But I've marked the coordinates of my nether portals, so there is no fear. I will be able to get my way back, and just in case I brought myself some obsidian to make myself a portal back into the real world. Okay, gosh. Gosh, this is not a friendly nether. Well, nethers are never friendly, but it's not the easiest one to navigate I've ever seen. Ugh, no. Oh, luckily, I'm not on fire, but that would be annoying. Okay. Lucky for me, I got feather falling, so I can just jump like that, but that was just lucky. The chance of that was pretty low. Well, we're pretty low now, so hopefully I'll be able to find another fortress. And all this glowstone will harvest once I get silk touch. Which kind of requires me to um, get these blaze rods, because they'll help me get an ender grinder for all the XP I'll need and use. Okay, wow, that was glitchy. Wonder if that was glitchy on the recording, but you never know. Soul sand, I might want to grab some on the way back, but not yet. There's soul sand anywhere, everywhere, anywhere. Pretty much everywhere in the nether. You need to be careful of running around like this, not to run into a giant cliff that goes straight down to lava. I do have protection armor on, but I don't think it's going to hold up very well against lava. Hmm. Which direction am I heading? Yeah, I've been heading in the wrong general direction. While finding another fortress, you do want to head towards like one direction in the Z coordinates getting larger or bigger, or smaller or larger, because uh, the nether fortresses spawn 
Not sure, I might have gotten this the opposite way, but if I did, I'd probably have hit a nether fortress by now. But, um, nether fortresses only spawn pretty much in rows along the x coordinate. So, if you go along the x coordinate, then you might never find a nether fortress, or it might take you a long time, unless you're really lucky, because they are slightly offset. So, yeah. So it's a smarter decision to go along the Y coordinates. Why I'm going this way right now is because I want to go back closer to my portal. So when I do find one, I won't have to make a super long trek every time I want to get to my nether fortress. Because there is supposed to be a nether fortress like every 300 blocks, like every 300 by 300 block grid. So not a lot of space. So you can, it's better try and find one very close to your portal then go like a thousand blocks and then find one just then you're gonna have to make a rail line unless you want to waste your food and everything every time you want to go somewhere and another like do something in it like get just get some blaze rods like you need one more and you have to make a thousand block trek doesn't sound so smart so hmm because i'm in the nether i don't know how much time i have left can't tell about day night cycles but I'll just try my best to get this video close to 15 minutes. It might be short. So, let's see. So, I actually haven't encountered very many gas. That's a good thing. And just as I say that, 10 gas are going to start shooting at me. But I know for a fact, with protection armor, gas are virtually useless against you. They, their f shots just can't really damage you. Don't know why, but just what I noticed. Besides the fire damage they cause from lighting the ground on fire, they can't really hurt you. If you have protection armor, so. If you have five or find any diamonds, uh, five or more, don't bother making swords or armor. Just make yourself an enchanting table. And it's bound to be more useful than any five diamonds could be spent in other way. So, if you ever find some diamonds, use it on an enchanting table like I ha I might post a video of my world I've been playing in for a long time already but in that world I have tons of diamond I have stacks and stacks I have diamond armor I have diamond picks Trying to hit his projectiles, but I am. Huh. Killed yourself, Ghast. That, that's that's a really smart move. Okay, so let's see. Let's go along the Z coordinate and see what we find. And see if my theory was right. My theory learned from admits. It's a mapping tool. I might be very lazy, but I could possibly maybe put a link in the video description to the admits mapping tool thing so yeah like it's a really helpful thing it marks nether fortresses slime chunks and all that but I'm not gonna use it in this LP except for maybe finding a slime chunk but I'm not gonna use it to find like another fortress that'd be lame ruin the exploration unless I really couldn't find one I might use it but okay Dude, I must go through a lot of food. Like, maybe I didn't bring enough, like... No, I think I got enough. Like, 12 pork chops should last a while. And my computer is getting really hot, by the way. Hmm. Wait, let me type the field. Ooh, it's pretty hot. Mm. One second, I'm just gonna close the window so that the sun is not shining directly onto it and making it really hot. And plus, I can see better. Another fortress. Ah. Ah. That hurt. Maybe my theory was wrong. Sad face. Do you see that? That is another fortress right there. Let's take a 
jump down here. Hey, Zisto. Yep. I never knew there were so many Zistos. So my theory was right. Nether fortresses do spawn in the way I thought they do. So now let's see if we can find ourselves a blaze spawner. I think this video only has a few minutes left, so. Just to be safe, I'm going to cut it off as soon as we get to the bottom of here. Just for the container. Okay, that was a stupid accent. Let's not do that. And let's continue rising up onto the nether fortress. Let's get all the way up to the top. A blaze! A blaze! And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. And see you guys next time.